Well, the first thing that I did when I was growing my following is... What's up, business best friends? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be teaching you guys exactly how I got over 1,000 Instagram followers on my business um, page. So if this is something that you are interested in learning and you want to build your Instagram following up too, then make sure you keep on watching. But first, before we get into today's video, if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell on. I post three times a week. So before we get into today's video, you guys, this is a custom wig that I made. I made, if you guys don't know already, that I make custom wigs and beauty products um, this is my HD Lace 13 by 4 frontal. I custom made it. My kids put a hole in it. But yeah, um, this will this wig will be available if you guys are wondering why the hell I still got the lace still on here. Um yeah, I'm in the process of taking pictures and stuff too. So if you guys are interested in this unit, everything will be linked down in the description box below. But anyway, so you guys want to so when i um first started my instagram business page i had zero everybody starts off at zero don't nobody just go on instagram and just take off immediately but with these tips and tricks that i will be sharing with you guys is exactly how i grew my following and how you guys can start building your following as well so the first tip well, the first thing that I did when I was growing my following, I did um, follow for follow. Now, I would not recommend doing follow for follow unless the audience that the people that you're trying to do follow for follow for, like say you're in like a, a Facebook or a, Insta, like a group or whatever like that. And you guys want to piggyback off of, you know, following each other pages. I would not do it unless you know that your target depending on what type of business that you have like say you have a business that's helping other business owners yeah it will make sense to do follow for follow on those type of pages because those people can potentially be your you know customer but if you have like a business like you selling like lashes or you selling like hair or just something that is consumable to the customer i would not recommend doing follow for follow because it would not make sense you would just have custom. I mean, you would just have followers that are just sitting there, and it's not like you won't have like people on there that's actually going to buy your stuff. You would just have people that's basically for support. That, but depending on the type of business that you had, that's what I did. Um, in the beginning, I did do follow for follow, and it did work. The second thing that I did was I engaged. I engage with my competitors' uh, followers. Now, that don't mean going to they, um, they post, like, people who in the same niche as you and just start like, hey, follow me because I, I I sell hair, I sell lashes. No, that's, like, that's disrespectful in a way, and I don't do that at all. Let's try to get that stop. But what I will do is, like, say, like, if somebody in their comments and they asking a question and they not sure, you know, what like what's the answer in the person that actually run the page they're not they didn't get back to them as quickly as possible so what i would do is i would go ahead and answer their question and this starts a conversation and starts engagement so that like they'll see you know they you will pos basically position yourself as a resource or like somebody a go-to person so by you um leaving a comment on their page especially if it's a account that gets a lot of traction your comment is going to always be there so people going to always see your um account and your business especially if your profile is right and your name is right people it's going to entice people to click on your profile and that will attract more um, followers to your page as well so the next tip that i have for you guys in order to um how i gained my following was using the right hashtags um i hashtags have been hashtags have helped me grow my business tremendously especially getting in front of my audience but you have to know what hashtags to use and use the right hashtags now there are websites like best hashtags all hashtags i will link everything down in the description box below but those are some websites that you if you like having like a brain fart and you don't know exactly what you want to um like use as a hashtag Depending on your business, like say for instance, like okay, I'm in the wig industry, so I'm gonna put like I'm gonna go to best hashtags, the website, and then I'm gonna put in wigs or closure wigs or frontal wigs, whatever I've decided to put in, and it's gonna generate 30 hashtags for me that I can use for my business, and this will 
you know, be so niche to the point where that my content will be in front of people who like potentially like my stuff and they already show interest in these type of topics. And that's basically what hashtags are are anyway. They're just categories that your potential customer or follower will search up on Instagram and look for because they basically that's what they're interested in. They search in stuff that they either want to buy or they interested in. So use a hashtags between 25 and 30 hashtags. They are niche and like surrounding around your business will definitely help. Now I would not say just go in there and just be using random hashtags or don't stay away from hashtags that are like big. You want to kind of keep your hashtags in between 10,000 and between um not even 1 million, like probably like 250,000. You want to keep it small as possible because you want your content to be able to be seen by your potential customer because in the hashtags that have like a lot of um that have like a lot of people in it and it's like over 1 million, over 2 million, 5 million, your content can get drained in those hashtags. And it's a chance that people might not even see it because there's so many people using that same hashtag. But if you niche yourself down to between 10,000 and 250,000, it's a great chance that your stuff will get seen and people will um, see your page, begin to click on your profile and follow you once they see that the content that you are posting that is something that they like and that's how you get more followers um the last tip that i have for you guys would help me um gain more followers for my instagram page was i pay for promo now i'm not talking about like the instagram ads or facebook ads i'm talking about the shout out pages that like the hair inspo pages the makeup inspo pages uh what i would do was i would and i still use this technique to this day i would um use a content on my page that because if you have a business page you're going to see your insights and once you go to your insights it's going to basically tell you everything and how your how, pretty much how your page is performing so if your page your page is performing good it's going to tell you which which post is performing the best how many people are reaching your um page it's going to tell you like literally everything like so what i would do is i would go to my insights I would see which post is performing the best and I would use that content and I would post it on uh, have pay other people who have a larger following to promote basically promote my um my work and what I would do is I would reach out to these people like in my niche still so I will be reaching out to hair inspiration page makeup because people who looking up makeup are looking up hair as well and um i would reach out to these pages and see how much their promo is and in the um description of what i want them to post under the caption i would say follow me if you are into custom or protective wigs and usually what will happen is when you have them post your work on their page it allows your content to be exposed to more people than it usually would have been if you was to do it just yourself because they are basically what they are there for like they basically had already have the following so what you're doing is by you putting your content in front of them you basically exposing yourself to more and more people and that's the goal you want to have more people you want to have more niche followers people who actually want to engage with your content so that you can eventually convert them into sales so but those are my tips there that is exactly how i got over a thousand followers on my instagram business page if you found this video helpful please please give it a huge thumbs up also if you have not already make sure you are following me on my instagram pages on my business page i will link that down below also on my personal page i also have um on my personal well on my personal slash is another business page where i actually help entrepreneurs that are interested that are new to entrepreneurship or thinking about starting a business um i help them start the process i will be launching soon if not already depending on when this video comes out i will be launching a 30-day launch plan for you guys so that you can literally know a to z how to start a launch your business the right way the correct way the first time so everything will i will be announcing when that will be launching so but and until next time you guys